let's take a closer look at the HPR1 HF. This little rig is a monoband 40 meters SSB and CW transceiver from Humbuilder. For a transceiver that is rated 50 watts by the manufacturer, this rig is tiny. Look at it, it can easily fit in the palm of my hands and uh, I love it. For a comparison, here is the CD that comes with the package. Yep, it's tiny alright. So here's the on-off switch. This is where you plug your microphone. The microphone connectors has four pens. Okay, here's the uh, LCD that display information, which I'm going to show you uh, later. The a frequency dial. Closer look. This is the volume uh, level, which is marked uh, AF gain. settings button mode button VFOAB button which is uh, nice and clicky on top we have a uh, quite a large uh, speaker it uses the same size speaker with the HPR 4HF The enclosure is strong and sturdy, made of aluminium, which also offer a very good RF isolation. Around the back, you will see a regular SO239 connector. A 
a quite large heat sink. And this is the DC plug. Goes in like so. There is two jacks here. Below is for the CW key and uh, the top one is for your external speaker. Another size comparison with the four bands HPR four HF. HPR four HF is already a small rig but as you can see the HPR1 HF just dwarfs it Okay, let's put in some power and see this little guy in action. You can change the dial increments by pushing down the dial button. Change VFOs with this button, A or B, and change modes 
with this button. Now I have a very bad experience with this settings button of the HPR4 HF so I'm not going to touch this one. Okay, uh, that's all for now. On a closer look uh, at Humbuilder HPR1 HF, a tiny transceiver that uh, packs uh, quite a punch and uh, also is a good looking radio. Okay, thank you very much and uh, see you on the other videos.